this is the work center Xerox work center 7225 you may have an error that indicates the crumb error in our case it so happened to be if you look right to the back of this unit you'll see the terminals that register the drum developer is in position in fact this is the one they removed not much you can do about that I will tell you that the part number for that is 116K91011 to remove it it's best to remove the R6 intermediate transfer belt assembly which just slides in the top there and then it, in our case it was to the rear of here right to the back if you remove this front cover there's just one two three four five six seven eight screws just a few screws there and there's one screw here this unit lifts up and pulls out you disconnect this connector from the rear before taking out this bracket this guide is very simple I should have filmed it when it was out but I'm not going to take it out again you can see the screw there that you take out so take this cover off remove one screw unseat this towards the back I'll show you towards the back of the machine you will see I shine my torch right to the unit I replaced Terminals are replaced. You'll see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprung loaded terminals at the back. It's just sits to the back of the R3 unit. That's it. Of course, you'll need to remove this door, which literally just has two, two bars holding it in there. Two brackets, one there, one there. Then it's just held in by these simple bars here. One E ring to remove, in our case, from that side, and also from that side. This is the copier guy on the move. Sorry for the really poor cameramanship, but don't worry, you get my point.